No, we are not in Greece. People might be mistaken to feel or think that we are somewhere outside Athens. But we are right at the heart of Dhaka city, within the Dhaka University campus, at the Teachers Student Centre. And this is a Greek memorial which was constructed in 1900 AD. To this we are now standing at the Dhaka University TSC, which is the Teacher Student Centre. And you can see the sprawling campus here, a field here, a few students seated on the lawn. There is the TSC's structure. It is a lovely late summer afternoon. The Greeks were the last to come to Bengal. Of course, we all know the English, the Dutch, the Portuguese, the French, they came here for trade and commerce in the 1600s and the 1700s. But the Greeks were the last to come and they arrived sometime around 1800. And they're a small community. There's a larger community in Calcutta, but they also had a 200 family community in Dhaka. At that time, Dhaka was actually centered in what we now know as old part of the city, the old Dhaka. And Romna was the edge of that Dhaka city in the 19th century. This structure was built to commemorate the Greek members who worked, lived and then died in Dhaka city. It is a Greek memorial. You can call it a mausoleum if you want to. And you can see it's built like an ancient Greek temple. Marvellous pillars. And in 1997, this was renovated with the funds from the Greek government. And reportedly, there's a yearly budget for the upkeep of this magnificent structure. So let's walk towards the gate and then eventually we'll go inside and take a look inside the memorial. So this is actually the entrance. When this structure was built about 200 years ago, there was nothing in front. It had an open view of Romna. Now you can see the construction going on, the construction for the Dhaka's metro rail project. This is possibly the metro rail station for TSC. So please, I apologize for the sound. We have no control over it. It's the construction work is going on. But let's walk inside. So as we stand here, this is the entrance. You can see some Greek inscriptions on top, on the right side, covered by the leaves. And here's the entrance, so let's um, walk inside and see the memorial. A bit dark here now but as soon as you walk in you can immediately feel the difference the atmospheric difference outside it's a bit hot and sultry but the moment you walk inside is very pleasant and cool maybe it's got something to do with the way this was constructed um, on the walls you can see the memorials and one person who is remembered in this mausoleum is John Demetrius, a Greek person, a Greek merchant, who died in 1835 during a hunting expedition in Mirpur. Now that's something which is a bit intriguing and fascinating at the same time, because Mirpur is 20 kilometers 
from Dhaka University and currently a very bustling and thriving part of Dhaka. But back in the mid 19th century, it was a forest area. It was densely um, covered by trees and jungles and all kinds of wild animals roamed in Mirpur, including tigers, of course. Um, another fascinating point is John Demetrius had a brother called Basil Demetrius. And Basil Demetrius is remembered in this inscription here. So you can, if you look closely, you can mark out the name Basil Demetrius. And Basil Demetrius was a clerk at St. Thomas's Church. And more interestingly, he was also a teacher at Dhaka College. So Dhaka College is also mentioned here. Now to look at another fascinating aspect of the mausoleum, you can see another inscription here. One part of it is, is missing. But this recalls one Sultana Alexander, a local girl who was married to a Greek person and who died in Dhaka. You can also mark out the date here, December 1833. So, so here we have a little bit of Greece in Dhaka city. The Greek community thrived here until the mid 19th century. Then after 1850s, the community started to decline. And um, after the First War of Independence, or which is known as the Sipoi Mutiny of 1857, the Greek began to leave uh, Taka City and then they settled in Calcutta. But this structure remains, and this is the last link of the old Greek community which lived in Taka City. Uh, and the Greek community then eventually disappeared by the late 19th century. When people come to TSC, it's very easy to either neglect or ignore this structure. But if they look across the TSC's main building, they cannot miss this absolutely wonderful structure. And sometimes students who are history enthusiasts come here in the evening to sip tea or to chat. And I also ask you to come here if you have the time and spend some time here at the Greek structure. Um, so that's about it from the Dhaka University campus and the imposing Greek mausoleum. I hope you liked this episode of Mystic Maverick. I'll see you in the next episode with another interesting topic. Until then, take care, see you.